Anyway, back to quote. I digress. Yeah, no, the day job. Yes. The mothership. Yeah. So let's put something to bed here. There's there's a lot of chatter, right, on on social media, on the you know the the numerous quo fan pages uh, on on Facebook and Instagram, of which there are hundreds of thousands of of, of members, and they're all talking about well. I think, you know, this is the year you got to get to see him because it's going to be the last. It's going to be, you know, the goodbye is coming and, and whatever. But we aren't ready yet, are we, for a quotaless world? There's no quotaless. sign of imminent. Quotaless world. There's no imminent plan of retirement. We're doing this year. Um, a lot of it depends on what Francis wants to do, obviously. And I, I, I don't know. I, I know... I know, and this is really, truthfully, unfortunately, I couldn't get to see his his like his show this time, and I, I'd never really, I wasn't really that bothered about seeing the other two because I didn't think it would tell me anything that I didn't already know. Um, and I'm really peeved that I didn't go to see this one. It just didn't pan out that when Francis was in fifty miles of me, that I couldn't get to go once. Um, I know he's really, really enjoyed that. Um, I believe, you know, I mean, I saw him the other week. We did a we did an advert for Marks and Spencers, and I hadn't seen him for nearly two years, although we'd spoken. And it was just, it was, you know, when we got back together again, the vibe was just there straight away. You know, it was really good fun again, and everyone was very happy to see everybody. So I'm not I'm not beating about the bush, but we'll do, I think there'll be a decision made at the end of the year. You know, probably by Francis. I mean, I, but Andrew will be nearly eighty by then. Um, so the answer is I'm not giving you any answer. <laughs> I think that's, but no, because we don't know either. You know, it might well be that we, we, we finish this, these, this, these shows that, yeah, that's enough. We're done with this, you know, but then that, with that, when, when Freddie started, when my Freddie started playing this for a while, when Rick got sick, that was going to be it. You know, the last night of the electric, last night of the electrics and a combination of, of Freddie doing it. Freddie, I know when Freddie left, we couldn't, I couldn't believe it. What do you mean you're leaving? How dare you? You know, I think he's, he's definitely the only person who's ever left this band. Um, <laughs> and then, you know, and then when Richie came along, you know, it, it was, it was all, um, oh, this is good. We're enjoying this. But the thing is, people, people only usually talk about, um, retirement and stopping if they can't do it anymore. It, you know the the product that they're putting out isn't any good, and that's not the case in either of those situations. Because I mean, you know, if you go to see the band, I I saw them. I don't know, eighteen months ago or, or whatever. Still, still seem top of the game to me. We're still singing songs in the original keys, pretty much all of them. Like the only one I, I sing rain in a, I well I as I, 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 I say I cheerfully murder rain. Um, in a, in a lower key to Rick, only be, only because it, I couldn't do it. That I couldn't I couldn't murder it in the right key. I had to murder it in the wrong key. Um, I love singing that song, by the way. So up yours if you think I murder it. Not you. Um, <laughs> you know, we, we sort of the songs in the original keys, which a lot of bands don't. I mean, I checked out a few um, a few people like you know Guns and Roses. They're all down a semitone or a tone, in fact. Now, um, so many bands are, 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 are you know uh, what do they call them? Heritage acts are tuning yeah, down yeah. because the singer can't cut it. I mean, Francis is in is in incredible shape. He, he really not not even for his age. He's just in really good. You know, he really takes care of himself. He, um, I love those uh, little videos. Those little cameo videos he was putting out at oh, all yeah. the stops on his uh, on his talking tour. Yeah. Usually in restaurants eating food. <laughs> oh yeah, you know it's great. It's real. Right, what about then, next thing, an album? So if they, will there be, no. will there be a, 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 another album? I mean, if you no. look back to, to Backbone. No. No, definitely not. I don't think, I don't think so. I, I, I think that it's a question of whether we can be asked or not, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, there's always, there's always you know, I, I don't know about the, the writing material side of things, but it, it's, it's diminishing returns these days. You know, yeah, yeah. One, one must remember that people would put out an album and then go on tour to promote the album. And now people put out albums to promote a tour. You know, it's um, it's a lot of work. That, that, put it like this: if we were, for me, I'd rather do another tour than another album. 
you know, it's 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 so much work, and it's, yeah, it, it, it's not work. I mean, it's you know, I mean, I, I don't get me wrong. I really enjoyed making Backbone. It was a real, it was a real pleasure for me. But Francis had, you know, I I, I sort of chipped in. But Francis had to do a heck of a lot of work on that, and I just, you know, well, we all put in a work, but it's whether. Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather do gigs than do another album for me. It's a shame because the the album was was great. Um, it was the highest charting album since since you've joined. Uh, when the uh, in the army now, I think got to number seven, but this one got to to number six. And there were some yeah, there were some great tracks on that yeah. album. You know, some, and you actually did something which was very unusual. At that time, you actually played the tracks live before the album was released. We had, we've only ever done that once before. We did that on Heavy Traffic. We played um, we played two songs, one called All Stand Up and one called Solid Gold. That was very interesting, actually, because we'd recorded them. And then we went out and played them live. And then we re-recorded them for the album, and they were so much better, which is which is obviously the case, but... Quote's not never been that kind of a band, really. You know, some bands go out and make like comics, if you like. They blood their, you know, they blood the new material before they, uh, before they commit, before they commit it. Yeah, yeah. But, um, I'd just go on that retirement thing. <laughs> one of your great quotes was, um, "Yes, we we have set a date for splitting the band up. Um, it's April the third, twenty thirty four." <laughs> well, yeah, you know, I mean, I love what B.B. King said. They said, so, B.B., when are you going to retire? He said, hmm, but eight years after I'm dead. Dead, 